The husband of Nobel Peace Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi has, has died of cancer on his 53rd birthday. On May 30th this year, the Aung on San Suu Kyi and her entrench left tens of thousands of well-wishers in Mong Yua and headed for the pain. When they came near Ji Yua on their way, they were attacked by about 5,000 soldiers, police and thugs associated with the military who were armed with iron rods, bamboo sticks and wooden staffs. The well-orchestrated attack carried out with military precision left scores of NLD members and supporters dead. Diplomats visiting the scene of the massacre after the attack confirmed they found signs of great violence. It is very difficult uh, to get information about what's going on. Uh, the trial is a secret trial taking place behind closed doors at a tightly guarded uh, prison in Rangoon. Now, in addition, foreign journalists, for the most part, are barred from entering the country and prevented from uh, reporting on the situation from inside of the country. Now, uh, what we do know is that Aung San Suu Kyi will be pleading uh, innocent to the charges uh, against her that she violated the conditions of her house arrest. She says that this American man, John Yeta, who swam to, the, to her lakeside home, uh, was not a guest, but he was area. Also standing trial are the two housemates uh, of Aung San Suu Kyi. Now, uh, the group, including Aung San Suu Kyi, will really have little or no opportunity to defend themselves in court. Uh, fair trials in Burma virtually do not exist. The courts are 100% controlled by the military junta. Uh, the prosecution is calling an astonishing 22 witnesses uh, to take to the stand, and we can expect that the trial will, uh, will last uh, at least a few days. Uh. Around 30 Filipino activists held a peaceful protest in front of the Burmese embassy in Manila on Friday. That's because today marks the 64th birthday of jailed Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Protesters from the Free Burma Coalition Philippines and the Asia-Pacific Solidarity Coalition brought a birthday cake with Suu Kyi's picture on it. The words not guilty were spelled out with hundreds of red roses on the Protesters across Asia, including Burmese dissidents and human rights activists, say Aung San Suu Kyi is innocent of all charges filed against her. They describe her trial as a ploy by the Burmese government to keep her in jail before and during next year's elections. And on today's top story, the ver verdict is in for the trial of Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. A court has found her guilty of breaking the terms of her house arrest. The sentencing has led to protests across Asia. People living across Asia are demanding the immediate release of pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Protests were held in Thailand, Japan, South Korea and the Philippines before a Burmese court read the verdict. Aung San Suu Kyi hasn't seen her son Kim Aris for 11 long years. That all changed on Tuesday as Myanmar's pro-democracy icon and the younger of her two children were finally reunited. 
In what's being described as the latest olive branch from her former cap captors, Myanmar's pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi has met the country's president, Tain Sein. The meeting, which was the first between the Nobel Peace Prize winner and the former military general, has been described as significant. Suu Kyi spent 15 of the last 21 years under house arrest during military rule for spearheading a democracy campaign. She was released late last year. Fear renders us dumb and passive. Fear paralyzes. If we are too frightened to speak out, we can do nothing to promote freedom of speech. If we are too frightened to challenge injustices, we will not be able to defend our right to freedom of belief. There was an extraordinary meeting today between two of the world's most closely watched women, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on a historic trip to the isolated nation of Myanmar, met with the pro-democracy activist and Peace Prize recipient Aung San Suu Kyi, and they stood outside Suu Kyi's home where she's been held under house arrest for years. The two embraced warmly and seemed thrilled to be in each other's company. Hundreds of supporters turned out to see Burmese pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi register to run in a by-election for a parliamentary seat. The National League for Democracy, or NLD, party head will run in Kamu, southwest of Rangoon, in polls on April 1st. She, uh, she won it in, back in 2002. Uh, it uh, is named after Mr. Nalanjit Singh, uh, who is a uh, uh, Indian, former Indian diplomat uh, and uh, philanthropist, a good ambassador of UNESCO. Uh, the prize stands for uh, tolerance and nonviolence, and uh, it's uh, really a great pleasure to, uh, be a to be able to have this have this opportunity to deliver. The Celebrations on the streets of Myanmar as the pro-democracy party claims a landslide victory in Sunday's historic by-elections. Party supporters descended on the headquarters of the National League for Democracy to hail a victory they once thought impossible. This is the woman they were all going crazy for, cheering for, longtime pro-democracy activist Aung San Suu Kyi. Well, thank you, Do Aung San Suu Kyi. It is a huge honor to be standing here with you. And your struggle, your bravery, your courage for standing up the things, for the things that you believe in has been inspirational for people across the world who want to see democracy, who want to see freedom, who want to see human rights. And everyone in the United Kingdom has been inspired by your struggle. What the Nobel Peace Prize did was to draw me once again into the, to the world of other human beings outside the isolated area in which I lived to restore a sense of reality to me. This did not happen instantly, of course, but as the days and months went by and news of reactions to the award came over the airwaves, I began to understand the significance of the Nobel Prize. Totius Universitatis Admito te ad gradum doctoris in jure Cavilli honoris causa. For years, this was a trip she could only dream of. But now, Aung San Suu Kyi has held private talks with U.S. President Barack Obama in the Oval Office of the White House. Mindful of political sensitivities, only still images of the encounter have been released. The opposition leader of Myanmar, formerly Burma, earlier took possession of the highest congressional award, a gold medal she was awarded in 2008. 
This is one of the most moving days of my life, uh, to be here in a house undivided, a house joined together to welcome a stranger from a distant land. Yet I do not fa feel myself to be a stranger, for I see many familiar faces, and faces that are new to me, but known through what they have done for my country and for our cause. This is a moment for which I have been waiting for many years. Among all these faces are, are some I saw while I was under house arrest, and some I saw after I was released from house arrest. In all the faces of my life, I have been accompanied by friends in everywhere. So it's worth the years of waiting. The great honor that you have conferred in me will be a lasting memento of the steadfast support of the United States Congress for the democratic aspirations of my people. Democratic opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi was presented with the 2012 Global Citizen Award during a ceremony in New York. The award recognizes people who work internationally to tackle global challenges. Su Chi said her house arrest, spanning nearly two decades, was by choice, and that the ultimate payoff remains to be seen. I was honored to be the first president to welcome uh, Dao Aung San Suu Kyi uh, to the White House. Uh, I'm proud to be the first American president uh, to visit this uh, spectacular country, and I am very pleased that one of my first stops is to visit with an icon of democracy who's inspired so many people, not just uh, in this country, but all around the world. Uh, today marks the next step in a new chapter between the United States and Burma. 